Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 20th, 2021. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, at the end of the session, we did see a massive rally. But the uh, main reason for this is uh, basically we were overstretched. Uh, we have been in a downtrend now for basically basically a month and uh, or a month and a half, and uh, a rally was always expected. Very similar here, and then there was also the Fed minutes, where it's expected for the for the Fed to increase interest rates, well earlier than expected. And of course, when that news came came out, the, we had a massive rally here, but we didn't get that far. We did not really take out the previous highs here. We could see this rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, but if we see an opening of red candlestick here, then we could actually go significantly lower. So we are testing the previous lows here. If that basically breaks, then we are going towards uh, 89.17. Technical indicators are, well, they're flat and uh, bearish at this current stage. MACD is flat, the stochastic is flat, CCI is is bearish and the RSI is kind of bullish at this current stage, but we are still in the downtrend and major resistance will most likely be expected at the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at oil. So oil did fall uh, quite a bit today. So yes, there is um, there is some news here that um, that um, Iran will most likely be able to. Um, uh, produce oil again or sell oil again and that will basically increase uh, the amount of oil in the world economy and uh, therefore prices should be falling but we fell towards uh, the bottom of the bullish band we did break the 50 moving average and then rally we we're trading at uh, 60 uh, 63.32 at this current stage and um, at this point as long as the 50 moving average is breaking that will basically stay within this range we are in a small channel here we are also going, we are about to test. We have been testing. You can write it up here. This triangle. And um, this probably just was a test of the lower part of this triangle. You'll probably see this rally up towards uh, 60, uh, 67 again. If that breaks, then we're probably going to 70 and then beyond that break below here well that could open door to 60 to 70 57 and then probably all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at 50. technically leaders are still favoring the downside due to the fact that we ran into major resistance up here and then have been falling quite aggressively the last two trading days so let's look at the natural gas so natural gas uh, yes I'm going to say we got way out of hand here and uh, a pullback was always expected. So this um, absolutely exploded to the upside. Uh, this was on, you know, on, on Monday. Tuesday we fell and today we fell yet again. So we have not gotten close to the 20 exponential. We are approaching the previous highs here. The 20 exponential will most likely be supportive. If the 20 exponential basically breaks, then we'll drop towards bottom of the Bollinger Band. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish at this current stage. And after a massive rally like this one, a pullback is always expected, but we haven't tested support yet. So uh, bounce from here could be expected and a take out of these previous highs that could open the door all the way up to 3.38. So let's look at copper. So copper did fall quite uh, aggressively today. We were down, we are down roughly 3%, 3.10%. Um, and at this point, 20 exponential is holding. A break below that opens the door to, to uh, 4.5 uh, 4 and the 50 moving average down here at 4.2. And the 50 has been massive support in the past. So, um, so we'll probably not fall further than that. We also have the bottom of the Bollinger Band here. And we'll get into our solar conditions as well. So we we'll most likely bounce from there if if we were to break below the 20 exponential. If you look at technical indicators, they are very bearish indeed. But we have also been falling the last uh, the last uh, six uh, trading days. So 
at this current stage, 20 exponential is holding. If we rally from here, then we'll probably go and test the top here again of roughly 4.8. So let's look at gold. So gold has been all over the place today. We went all the way up towards 1888, all the way down towards 1852, and we settled at 1869. Technical conditions are well all over the place. MACD is bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So if you manage to, well, basically stabilize above the um, 200 moving average, we'll have the 20 exponential moving this way, and as soon as those cross, we'll probably have a catalyst up towards the 1900 and probably also 2000. But at this point, we'll probably see pullbacks before going higher. So let's look at silver. So silver did drop today. We went all the way down towards uh, uh, 22.33 and uh, we settled at uh, 27, uh, 27.70. If you look at technical indicators, they are also fairly mixed. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is also becoming bearish at this point. So we are still in a very nice upward channel and the 20 exponential has been holding really well in the last few weeks. And as long as that is the case, we'll just bounce up towards 30,000, 30, not 30,000, $30. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is um, testing the bottom of the bullish band and we have been here several times before. We're at 11.19. And uh, if you look at where we started right here, we rallied up towards this top, down towards the bottom, up towards the top of the bullish band, and then just we have been going in similar fashion. And uh, if we manage to rally from here tomorrow, we'll probably head towards the top of the bullish band, which will be roughly 12, uh, 1260. Technically, do favor the downside break below here, could open the door all the way down to 1100 and probably the 200 moving average. So it looks like a pallium. So pallium is uh, also finding difficulty around this area. We did have this massive rally, then broke down towards the bottom of the bullish band, tried to rally, and now we broke down again. Checking the indicators, we, if you look at them, they do favor the downside. So we could see this drop towards the bottom of the bullish band again, and probably towards the 50 moving average. We haven't tested the 50 moving average all the way back here. This was mid-March. So pull back towards the 50, that should offer quite a lot of support. That is around 1,733. Um, to the upside, 3,000 is most likely going to be massive so resistant. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did break the 20 exponential, broke down all the way down to uh, 2,383. Technical indicators are favoring the downside, so we could see even more downward momentum towards the 50 moving average down here at 2308. Break below here, that opens the door to 2250. Rallies will most likely find massive resistance up here at 2533. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has broken down. We did uh, manage to go to 18,000 and then broke down towards uh, support at the 20 exponential. This is a very negative candlestick. We could break towards the 50 moving average down here at 1600 and 600, uh, 1600, uh, 16,000, sorry, 650. Technical indicators are favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar continues to, well, we have been technically trading sideways for the last few trading days. We've been right at the 20 exponential, just going back and forwards. Technical indicators are favoring the downside. So if we were to break down from here, 50 moving average down at 0 0.1630 will most likely be where we'll, well, we'll stop. Break below here, opens the door all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.14, uh, 14 or 5, so 0 0.15, give or take. So let's look at uh, cotton. So cotton uh, tried to rally up towards the uh, 50 moving average and then broke down again and found also support at the bottom of the bullish band. So technical indicators do favor the downside. Um, 
we are trading underneath the 50 uh, rallies up towards that have been have not been very successful and we'll ultimately have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average in the next few trading days and that will most likely pressure this towards 0 0.80 and the 200 moving average if you manage to break above here then the 50 the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.86 87 will mostly be where we found major uh, resistant so let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa did break down towards uh, 50 moving average and did find support. Technicals are all turning around, favoring the downside. So this has been going up to towards the bottom, uh, top of the bullish band, broke it down to the bottom top, and now it looks like we're going back to the bottom. Technically just trading sideways at this current stage. So if the 50 breaks, then we'll mostly head towards the bottom here at uh, 23, uh, 50 give or take. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has broken down to the 50 moving average, found support there. We basically bounced from the 50 moving average and we also got very overstretched. Technical indicators are still favoring the downside, so we'll probably test the 50 moving average again. If we manage to stabilize here, then we could take off to the upside, break below the 50, opens the door all the way down to the 200 at 617. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.